Blessings guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make my favorite um, childhood snack. It's called unti. So you could make the um, the chicken type or the beef one. So I'll be making chicken unti and it's, uh, it's so good. It's so addictive, but it's extremely easy to make. If you have questions, let me know below, okay? So this is my blended chicken. Um, as you can see, I did use the boneless type. If you want to use the ones with the bones in it, you can do so. And then I have about two Jumbo Maggi cubes. Completely ignore me. I did decide to use all of my Jumbo Maggi. I don't know what I was doing here. If you have any other seasonings, you could also use that as well too. Um, because I love the taste of garlic and ginger, I did decide to use some of um, the powdered form as well. And then now I'm going to add in my blended habanero peppers, um, onions, and ginger. So for the habaneros, I think I have about two in there. And it was spicy enough for me. If you, if you like extreme spice, you could add more. But this, this is good for Matilda. <laughs> Now I'm going to add in my cornmeal. So this acts as a binder to help you better form the shape of your own tea. I know um, some people also like to um, add in peanut butter as well. Um, I'm choosing not to, but you definitely can if that's if you love the taste of it. And as you can see now, I'm just going to form the shape of the own tea and then we'll move on to the next steps. Please add a little bit of um, oil into your pot. This is going to help the unchu not to stick to the bottom of it. And then I'm adding also a little bit of water because I'm steaming mine. Um, it is completely okay for you to add a cup, two cup of water. Um, the most important thing is that it is properly cooked. Now I'm going to let it steam cook for 10 minutes. Guys, we are all done. Ugh, it was so delicious. I almost finished all of it in one sitting. It was so good. Please subscribe. Thank you so much.